clearly, there is a lot going on here. But for the sake of simplicity, what I want to do is I want to categorize these ideas into a few buckets. For instance, ideas like how to add buttons and how to add text, they are all a very visible part of the app. Let's call this category View. When we are going to build our app, we will also need to save some data. This for us will be the audio file that we can play back. Let's put that in another category and call that category data or model. And finally, we will write some code to control the view and the model. Here, we will need to change the speed of the recorded audio, and we will also need to learn how to transition between different screens. We can call this category controller. Now, a good analogy here would be from the world of theater. You can think of a view as actors. Actors are the most visible part of a play. A controller is like a director who manages or controls things on a set. And finally, you can think of the model as the backstage area where they store props that are needed for the play. So what you're seeing here is the beginning of a design pattern called model, view, and controller or MVC for short, that Apple wants programmers to follow when they are making apps. In fact, most apps on the App Store follow this sort of a design, and so will we. You will begin to see this design pattern as soon as we make our app. So let's do that next.